Ice Age explained by idiot. All right, I have bro. I haven't seen Ice Age in forever. I had to be had to be almost five, six, seven, eight years ago since I seen Ice Age. But shout out High Boy, we've been doing his videos. You guys really been enjoying them. Let me know what other High Boy videos you guys want me to check out, as well as what other videos you guys want me to react to. Make sure you go to community tab on the channel. I always say what do you guys want me to react to almost every day. And um, down below in the comments, just let me know what I should watch, and you know I'm going to get to it. You guys know I I do the most interesting thing that I see there. I've been doing it, bro. If you've been paying attention, I know a lot of y'all get your requests fulfilled. So just um let me know. Just comment them in the community tab, and just let me know. But with that being said, bro, we're just going to get straight into this high boy video, bro. Welcome to Ice Age, and we got Scrat doing Scrat stuff with his nut and almost dying several times. Then we got a bunch of animals migrating for the winter, and Manny the Mammoth going the other way, cause fuck society, he marches to the drum of his own that beat. That dude is a savage. Then we get to see why Captain number that? 2, which is Shed the Sloth, who got Nah, why are you a little sloth, yeah, shit, that's crazy. Abandoned by his hood cause he's a retard, then angers a couple of rhinos by spoiling their salad. Then he runs away from them into Manny, who is immediately annoyed by him, but tries to save him nevertheless. Okay, look. If either of you make it across that sinkhole in front of you, you get the sloth. The fact that they're even considering this to be a true fact after seeing Sid run across it to get to Manny just tells me that these rhinos are even more fucking stupid than Sid. No matter though, because Sid reestablishes his superior retardation by showing that Manny was bluffing. There ain't no sinkhole, so Manny fights off the rhinos and saves Sid, who then decides Something to stick to Manny and accompany him on his travels because of safety reasons, to which Manny responds with, Ayo, fuck off, man, stop following me. But Sid Word is one persistent comrade and proceeds to stick to him like Shun. Nah, comrade is crazy, that guy, bro. Gum. That is also backwards. Cut to a human settlement and a bunch of saber-toothed tigers planning to attack. Tiger. And leader cat wants a tiny human alive because some some they wiped out half of our pack. Some some uh, revenge. Some some. Yeah. yeah, they wearing him as a fresh mink coat, bro. I ain't gonna cut. And the feline responsible for getting the baby is Diego. We attack at dawn, says the bitch, and then we cut to Manny and Sid building shelter and bonding, sort of. Scrat almost dying again, and I'm not gonna even yeah. try and count yeah, how many times crazy. this rat was supposed to die because let's be real. Wait, he's a rat? Or scrap. I don't know what that. I don't know what he is, bro. He like a mix between a mongoose. Uh Still here, if you've seen the movies, you know this motherfucker is invincible. Also, according to cartoon movie physics, this nut should have turned to a popcorn from that lightning. Just saying. Moving on, Dawn has arrived and the kitties attack. Human mama protect Ice Age baby from Diego. He corners her by the edge of a waterfall. I didn't even know that there were humans in Ice Age, bro. I ain't gonna lie. These movies, I need to watch them because I don't remember none of this. So, faced with no other options, she goes, fuck it. Yo! Then after the kitties regroup, leader kitty's like, Where the fuck the baby at, man? The bitch jumped off a cliff, man. I don't know what to tell you, dude. You bring me back that baby or else I'm gonna fucking turn to some mince meat, motherfucker. I'm fine, man. Jeez, okay? I'm gonna bring that back baby. Calm your titties. So the gang splits up and the humans follow the big pack thinking that they have the baby or they kill it or something. Meanwhile, downstream, Manny and Sid find the female and she gives him the infant, then disappears. How does this baby not have hypothermia? <laughs> yeah. And where's- Where did the mom go, bro? <laughs> this is mom's body. Don't corpses float? Hmm. Okay, so apparently it takes a while for it to float, like three days, because of biology, decomposition, whatever. My bad. Moving on. So it's like, we gotta take this thing back up to its herd up there. You see smoke and stuff? Yeah, nah, I'm not doing that. Go fuck yourself. Fine, I'm doing myself. You know, I like to see that numbnuts. So Sid gives it his best shot at climbing the side of the waterfall. A valiant effort, Sid. Then he drops the child, and Diego arrives Whoa. like, I want that thing, it's mine. And they're like, <laughs> nah, I don't think so. And Manny decides to help Sid return the baby to the humans so that the Taiki Wagi doesn't eat it. And they get up there to the smoke uh, on top of the hill or on top of the waterfall, and the humans have left on the way to Glacier Pass because of winter. And Diego arrives like, you'll never get there before the pass closes up. I can track them, let me have the baby, and I will make sure to personally deliver it to the humans very safely. No way, Jose, we're going with you so you don't eat it. So they travel as a pack together. And on their journey, the little. So, so that means, so the, the, the little little sit this thing right here is trying to eat the baby right now the whole time bro this is what plot do y'all be having in these movies i don't remember nothing all i remember is a bunch of animals running away from the ice age bro that's it come back won't stop crying so they check his diaper for the poopies but it turns out to be clean and they throw it away and they just threw away their only clean diaper and the movie will continue to act like this little shit machine doesn't take a dump throughout the entirety of the rest of the movie whatever baby's still crying so they get it some food by fighting off some dodos for a watermelon in an epic game of rugby baby eat and they sleep that night but diego will be fake sleeping and he tried to steal the little shit machine when everybody else is asleep but he hears a noise so he goes to check it out and it turns out to be a few members of his pack Okay, if a few rustling leaves prompts Manny in his sleep to tighten his grip on the baby, then this fucking huge ass tiger war should we'll totally him wake up. him up. Yeah. But it doesn't, who cares? Diego has a meeting with Cat on Crack and Discount Scarf and tells him that he's not <laughs> just bringing a baby for dinner, but nah, also a man and a walking bag of toxic waste, aka Sid, and tells them to tell the leader bitch to prepare for an ambush on Manny or something like that later on. Okay, so he goes to sleep, and next day, baby is gone, but don't worry, Sid was only using it as a chick magnet. And he gets chased oh, by the gay rhino couple. Diego saves him, pretending to eat him, and then that we get a travel montage where Diego finds a singular tiger 
bigger footprint. And nah, that nigga's going crazy, right? He's trying to get all the little bitties. Okay, that boy's a little demon. Plays it with a human track. That's right, one. Just the one in this entire fucking snowy wilderness. Mm -hmm, accurate, whatever. They go ice skating, then play Pictionary with Scrat, where he tries to warn them that they're going to get anally defiled by a bunch of saber-toothed tigers, but they no get it because they're super fucking dense. Also, Diego takes care of them. They keep moving, and Diego sees the humans before Sid and Manny. So he's like, hey, yeah, I found a shortcut in this cave. Let's take it. And they are forced in there because of a mini avalanche and almost die via impalement from a bunch of hanging icicles. No. What? That's Why are you guys standing still? The icicles are clearly only at the entrance of this fucking cave. All you have to do is walk in a bit more and you're safe. It doesn't require that much brain power, you fucking shit beans. Anyway, they walk in, some funny memes happen, a Star Trek reference, then Square accidentally goes onto an icy slip and slide, so they go after him to save him, and... <laughs> nah, what? Oh no. <laughs> bro, I don't remember none of these scenes, bro, this movie lit! How, and I yeah, mean, how, how, where was the baby at? <laughs> and the Kentucky Fried Fuck did that baby make it through that part without dying. Doesn't matter. Rides over and Diego goes, Who's up for round two? Shut the fuck up, homie. You basically shit yourself the whole way through. They keep going and find some cave paintings and learn about Manny's past. Either he lost his wife and kid, or he lost his mom and dad. Or third option, this isn't even his story and he's just really empathetic. Next, they make it out of the shortcut cave and get pretty close to Glacier Pass when lava starts fucking the ice from being lava. Starts smelling and oh, shit. And I Diego see, almost yeah. dies trying to escape, but Manny saves him and in doing so, almost dies himself. And Diego's like, why'd you do that, man? You could've died. Because, Diego, the power of friendship. Oh, man, I love you, man. I love you, too. They keep moving, but it's too cold so they tuck in for the night and the baby takes its first steps does cute stuff what? and pulls on Diego's heart strings they all go to bed and Scratch shows up like <laughs> Dio, what is wrong oh, with now him? it turns into a popcorn <laughs> sure fire makes more sense but according to cartoon science lightning still shut down the trick movie fuck you next day comes and they start moving and make their way to where the pack of lip tars want to ambush them and Diego tells them about the ambush because he's a good guy now and Manny gets mad and wants to fucking kill Diego but he's like okay listen I have a plan we can fix this I'm on your side now I'm on your side okay so they believe him and use Sid and the baby as bait to get these three retards to go after him but Sid uses his expert snowboarding skills to get away until he doesn't and loses the baby but it turns out to be a psych not a baby wait a minute where the fuck did they get the baby quilt from or like the baby wrapping thing yeah the baby wrapping whatever where they get that from last time i saw it was when sid dropped squirrel where they keep until this moment inside sid's asshole fuck that i got both yeah. anyway tuggies get cucked and the three stooges get surprise attacked by manny sid gets the baby from hiding and then the fuck cat on crack in the ass then the rest of the pussies try to corner and attack manny but diego do the defending and takes a bullet for manny metaphorical bullet he actually takes a bite okay then manny kill the leader cunt via falling Damn. ice and the rest of the pussies run away because oh, nah, they crazy. are indeed pussies and they check on diego who's kind of dying right now except that i see no blood but uh you know know it's a kid's movie understandable i'm just a dickhead here anyway they're like sorry you're dying bro but we kind of gotta run and give this baby back to the humans they get to the past and just about catch human dad being sentimental and shit manny reaches for the baby dude goes into attack stance and manny be like motherfucker i'm trying to give you back your baby give me that shit Come on, give me that shit guy thinks he's about to get fucked but then manny reaches behind and gets his baby and he surprises fuck calls off the other people who are trying to attack manny he's like whoa however given this shot just a second ago i ask where the fuck was the baby answer <laughs> probably hanging for dear life off the right side of manny i don't know why they just do it this way okay i mean we already know that manny and sid have the baby and trying to return it and the dad would have been just as surprised if it were riding in its usual spot because he wouldn't be able to see it because of manny's huge stature and his killer weave wait a minute was the baby hiding inside his killer weave? Never mind. Baby walks back to Dada. They are reunited. Cute shit. Fun stuff. Really happy for you, my guy. Just remember, your wife's still dead, though. Baby gives Sid and Manny a goodbye hugs, and the fugly dad gives them a little shitty necklace that they'll lose in literally under two minutes. Or maybe they shove it up Sid's ass for safekeeping. Or hide it in Manny's killer weave again. I don't know. Anyway, Diego shows up because he's not dead. His but a flesh right wound. He says goodbye to uh, Sid and Manny find out he's alive, and they're really happy about it. Also, check it out. No, no necklace. See that? Unimportant, though. Mission is a success. The baby's back, and they walk off. Best buds. Also, Scrat gets for 20,000 years and finds a coconut. This movie gets five sunflower seeds out of seven pistachios. Bro, this man is different. I was different. I like to let a lot of his commentary shine through whenever I'm doing reactions. I, I comments here and there, but you know, I let him shine through. That's my boy right there doing his thing. Definitely, we love that. Uh, shout out, hi boy. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, let me know what else you guys want. Like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see y'all next one, bro. This man is an idiot, bro. <laughs>